What's up, everybody? This is episode four on Neutral Air. What's up, AG? What's up, dude? dude? Chilling, man. Yo, um, yeah, I think a lot of people are concerned about, like, not want to say concerned. I was going to say, whoa. whoa. I'm concerned about, but, like, want to know, like, how's the the PR system, like, works. How's it work and everything. Since you're the, I want to say, yeah, I would uh, say I'm expert. A, I'm the guy, I guess, expert. yeah. The man, the myth. So how's this the shit expert. work, man? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, man. It's a really weird mix of, like, very complicated and not at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty simple. It's, um, you know, I like to tell people it's, like, from the top down. You know, yeah, we yeah. look at all the players. We look at all the results. Like, who did what, where, and who's got the best results, you know? So we try to find that, like, number one spot. Yeah. Thankfully, it's been pretty easy the last couple quarters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Um, you know, we got light doing a bunch of crazy stuff. Oh, yeah, dude, that coast to monster, coast. Bro. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Unbelievable. So, <clears throat> from there, we just sort of work down. You know, it's pretty easy. We say, uh, all right, well, like, who did the second best? You know, who's got the best out of region wins right under him? Yeah. Who has the best records against okay. him and other, you know, PGR players and against the state? And we just sort of fill in the blanks as it goes down. You know, once you get past, like, four, it gets real tough. You know, then all of a sudden, it's like, really? who got the best wins on the top four, if any? You know, because some of them mm -hmm. are just so good. Uh, who has the best head-to-head -head record against other people in that grouping? And who has, like, you know, made some of the best loss, some of the best losses, and, you know, they didn't lose anyone particularly out of their range. Uh -huh. How they did at events, if it comes up, you know, how, where, where they place compared to other people in that grouping. And, um, you know, it. you know what? I've been thinking, like, here's here's the question, right, that yeah. i always been wondering about. If it's a, it's a, if it's a state PR, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't shouldn't it only matter of the events that are played in CT for that type of rank? Like, like should lights win of PGA players globally right. affect a CTs? I think there's two schools of thoughts. Yeah, I it definitely. Some... Yeah, I definitely want to talk about it because it's like like light has all. Like, all right, let's say, let's let's just use light for now, sure. right? Yeah. He has all these big, you know, wings like over void mm -hmm. and whatnot or whatever. Mm -hmm. But let's say like he can't be like a Ling Ling. Right. But like since he has all these dominant wins. Right. But he can't be Ling Ling, she still be number one in Connecticut. Exactly. That's like then you can look at the other side of the spectrum where it's like look at all these wins that he has at Ling Ling that like never got or something exactly. like that. Right, right. And be like, oh, this is why he's number one. Yeah. I mean, uh, so again, like I said, there's two schools yeah. of thoughts. Um, some region, it depends, I guess, on region to region. You know, there's a big um, a, a hubbub, if you will, when Japan released a PR semi-recently, yeah. and Abadongo was not the best, but he was definitely the highest-ranked Japanese player on the entire PGR. And they're yeah, like, well, yeah, what gives, yeah. you know? And they were like, well, he doesn't do that well here. He's got all these crazy, you know, out-of-region wins, but mm -hmm. he doesn't do as well in Japan, so we just gave him a lower ranking. But... There's other regions, uh, even like uh, some some states in the Midwest where it's like, or even in like the the South, yeah. Where there's like a PGR player who's definitely better than whoever is first on their state PR because that's just how they do it. They're like, oh well, yeah, he's got good wins or whatnot, but he didn't do so well in state. But I think that it's you know this is my opinion. I always talk about it with the panel every quarter too. It's um, it's like really weird to like punish a player for traveling. You know, like if. Yeah. Light goes to a huge tournament, for example, but let's say he can't uh, make the weeklies. Or, not or, even, or let's say at that that same weekend, like Scott is, is at a Connecticut tournament. Okay, right? yeah. Scott right. wins the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Good for Scott. So like he like he wins an invasion. Sure. Yeah. Because okay. there's also like uh, some crazy tournament happening in the Midwest, right? Okay. And for some reason, you forgot to change the schedule. But let's yeah, just yeah. say, right? <laughs> so if, it's like Scott yeah, deserves so. the credit for that invasion win, yeah. right? Yeah. Obviously, he probably got some great wins and yeah, whatnot. Yeah. But it's like if Light goes to a major that weekend and you know beats like Nairo, like we can't say like Scott had a better weekend. Yeah, like I see, I see what you're saying. It's like ah, uh... and it's I, I try to like I try to model it at least into like a funnel system. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to have a similar system to like the PGR in certain ways. Because I think that, like, that is what a player wants to build to, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Light was, like, 11 in the state, 
like early 2016. 20, uh, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quarter yeah, one, early, 2016. Yeah, yeah. He's 11 in the state, right? So he's like, I want to get to the top of the Connecticut PR. And then he did. And then he stayed there. He's like, now I want to go to the PGR, you know? And I think punishing him like in, in state for trying to, you know, proceed along the natural progression of like a smash player is yeah, yeah, yeah. unintuitive at least, you know, to like punish him for traveling. I mean, I is, see what you're saying. It's, it's a kind of against the grain, you know? So like I said, it just, it just comes down to like, you can't, I mean, we try to keep it in, uh, in the back of our heads too. Like we don't want to have a player have like a worse chance if they don't have as many opportunities to travel. Like mm -hmm. if they can't mm -hmm. go to these big events and get the crazy wins and whatnot, like, Try to factor that in, but it really just comes down to like, I mean, he's out there, he's doing it, he deserves the credit. That's about yeah, it. I, see, I, I don't know, I just think it should just, uh, I always think, yeah, I try to think of both sides and try not to be biased to both sides, but like, um, uh, I just figure that CT events should just matter for the CT. I mean, this, this is just how no, I feel, no, I but like, it. but like, no, now like hearing your, like the other side, I'm like, all right, I see what you're saying now, so I mean, but it's also like, you, I feel like you have to consider everything because it's like um all right let's say kool-aid loses the chavo at invasion which happened once right it did well and some of us the first, time, it. first time kool-aid came i think yes yeah yeah, yeah right so chavo's 1-0 on, on kool-aid right yeah chavo goes to the next three gums that quarter loses the kool-aid in theory like in in your model chavo's got a positive record on kool-aid for Connecticut State PR reasons. Okay. But that's, okay. that's like, not the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I see. So it's hard to, like, you can't really have tunnel vision in that regard because these players are playing other really great and, like, comparable people to the Connecticut State, but it's, like, they're happening just over the border or, like, even across the country, you know? All right, like fair enough. I can I guess, I guess see that. But I do, I, I still, like, see some of your point, too. You know, some states still think that, they don't like whatever happens in the state should matter, and that's it. But I don't agree. <laughs> that's about yeah, it. Yeah, it's just uh, it's tough to decide. I mean, you, you can sure, go, yeah. you can debate that thing like all day. Yep. Um, what was I wanted to talk to you about? Oh, who who is on the CT mm. panel for? Right. So for you this? you talked about debating, mm -hmm. and I said, well, I know a solid group of people to debate <laughs> with. Yep. And that is uh, the new and improved Connecticut Power Ranking Panel. Uh, right, as, of, uh, as of six months ago, it's new and improved. Um, so I'm not on the panel except for this last quarter, but we'll get into that. I'm, I'm just the guy. I'm like uh, the director. You know, I get all okay. the stats, make sure all the yeah. stats are in order, and sort of direct the panel in, in the talks. Mm -hmm. um, but we got uh, Skyhook for Southern okay. Connecticut. Great commentator. I can, yeah, I can knows, definitely see him in there, like no problem. Knows a lot. Of different people from different venues and yeah. super good at remembering results, placings, everything. Super and just knowledgeable smash in general. Definitely. Uh, we got everyone's favorite clipboards from Eastern Connecticut. Oh yeah, dude, clipboards is my boy. Clipboards bro. is great. He's great to so he tos several events in Head Eastern TO, Connecticut and, Underworld games, just... <laughs> and Central Connecticut. Dude, amazing job. Uh, though. Always, uh, pretty much always in the area for like other New England tournaments too. So he can mm -hmm. definitely you know make sure that we have. All the results from all of our players traveling everywhere too into Rhode Island or Massachusetts. Yeah, what's the over in that area what's the anyway. what's the event he does? Uh, resurgence. Resurgence. resurgence yeah. yeah, yeah. You got if you're on the east side of Connecticut, yep. you know if you're just in Connecticut. Yeah, actually, yeah. Just you know, I don't care. Where great you're tournament. From. I mean, Dude, I missed the last go, two, man. but it's a great tournament. I actually, uh, I was at the casino doing some business, and then I was like, hey. Danielson's only like 30 minutes away or yeah, something like that. Well. I came out surprised over Swing there. through, yeah. Not that everybody yeah. cared about that I was there, but, you know. <laughs> no, but he's, so he's great. And then we got uh, Ajax from Central Connecticut. So got Oh, a nice, yeah, another yeah. dope player, dude. Yep. He's awesome, man. And another super say... knowledgeable person about the scene, you know. Yeah, dude. He's following all of the, all of the places, all of the venues, all the tournaments, all the players. He's on top of it all. Dude, he's a great dude in general, man. Yeah, exactly. Dude. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Ajax cuts up all all of the videos for UG. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's his responsibility as a content manager. So yeah, that's awesome. Definitely. So we got a nice like mix geographically, you know, mm -hmm. solid spread to make sure we get enough notoriety or not notoriety enough. Uh, you know, uh, no one is getting swept under the radar here. You know, we got yeah, everyone to represent a specific zone. All smart people. Now, will you, you guys like? add anybody in as like as someone's like you know what i want to be on the panel or, or something like you know it's just so just to 
show like to give some of their part or whatever uh like we what do you guys think about that did think about it but i think three is like a perfect three or if we did add one more person we'd add two more people you know just to make it an odd number yeah yeah like to keep an odd number for voting reasons uh but for the most part i think the panel being the size that it is now is super good for discussion mm -hmm. you know uh it doesn't get too cluttered up all the points like get addressed and then solved or at least discussed yeah until we come to an agreement of sorts you know but i think it's great i think um especially with me like just there to drive the discussion and make sure people have all of the information that they need whenever they need it it's uh pretty much like the perfect size i think if anyone awesome. really had like wanted to join it's possible like clipboards um opted out last quarter because he was like i he's like i think i might have done well enough to be on the pr um i'm just gonna i don't want to be on the panel and I was like, okay. So I ended up stepping in for him. Yeah, yeah. But if there saying. was someone who was interested, like maybe, you know, like keep like a list or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar. But contact you maybe? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there you definitely. go. I mean, I feel like I'm in a lot of messages after these episodes. I know, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely uh, let me know. Always willing to consider. Yeah, one thing that we're uh, at least trying here uh, for this season is doubles PR. Mm. Definitely. Like I will, I love seeing like static people yep. that have played like for I don't know, got got own guy amounts of uh, tournaments like exactly. like a uh, like a like a light yeah K three H and D light and Don, Don yeah. uh, you and you and uh, Ling Ling yeah, for uh, sure love Don. Oh, there's one more one more team that I'm skipping over. Glare and oh, Glare, Glare and Sky. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 dude, that's they're awesome, man. For you know, sure. yeah, they're brothers too, but you know they they play both play great. Mm -hmm. aren't, aren't aren't they both on the PR? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What's is Blair uh, higher or is it Scott higher? Scott is higher, but I don't think that will be the same case this quarter. But yeah, didn't didn't he lose uh, his brother? Hey, like, <laughs> yeah, he actually Glair did have a very good record against Scott last quarter too. So yeah, he but. stepped away from the the DK. Mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. All all bail, all bail it's now. Working out though, can't complain. But so, uh, yeah, I think double PR is a great idea. Um, I'm interested to see how the implementation goes, but so far we've been working on. You know, ironing out the details and it's looking, yeah. So I was just gonna good. ask you about. Yeah. I was gonna ask you like, are you guys going to be looking at like, um, static partners over? Hey, I just want to play doubles. And I just play with somebody. Like, how how's that factor? Yeah, in? for like, for the most part, thankfully we live in a place where that doesn't. There's not a big overlap there, mm -hmm. or there is a big overlap. Not exactly sure how to phrase it, but like the very good doubles teams in the state are teams that happen to be static anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's not a lot of shifting around. So um, unless it comes up, we're probably going to be sticking to the static teams. Mm -hmm. But it's really just going to be like what teams did the best. And Yeah, only... now since I, wanna, I don't want to say like not many very few will play doubles, but I'm, well, as a PR, stand, or, yeah, PR standpoint, like instead of the top ten because of the singles, is it going to be like the top three teams get PR or is it top five? I mean, there's not like crazy amounts of people. I mean, right. Sometimes we have good weeks. We have twelve teams. Sometimes right. we have like you know five, mm -hmm. but it's like those constant fives are like always there. So it's like going to be a top three, a top ten, a top eight. Like what? What? What are you guys thinking? I think we kind of just settled on we're gonna we're gonna just see where like a natural progression puts us. You yeah. know, if there's like a huge drop off after the third or fourth or fifth best team, we're just gonna cut it there. You know, I think five is probably as big as it will get since it's you know two yeah. two people uh generally no repeats and then we might also have a separate section for like single players who are good in doubles in case like they get knocked off due to you know their teammate maybe teaming mm -hmm. with someone else and also doing really well or something but i think we're just gonna see what the natural cutoff is and then leave it at that so like i don't know four or five probably top three Maybe, maybe, th yeah, three to five. I'll say three to five. Yeah, that sounds like a good number. I just, I just wish more people played, man. Same, dude. I love doubles. You know, I mean, like back to back you know, episodes like, for me. Commentary and doubles. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, we actually have like a lot of doubles teams. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, we get the weeks that are like five teams, but like the weeks we get a lot is like yo, know, having it on a weekly from ten to twelve teams, like. That's a huge amount just for like a weekly and Definitely. and to not not run into singles bracket that much, but like we usually get it out, done in like an hour and a half. Yeah, but I mean it goes over, but we still call the matches for singles. Right, but right. Just um, yeah, dude. Like, what happens if like doubles PR is like it just like brings out more people, and then next thing you know, it's like 
you got 20 people, 20 teams right. for a weekly, man. That, that then That's ideal. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then once we get that done, we can start working on three versus three. Nah, <laughs> hey, do I'm not ready for that one. Do how you feel about three versus three teams, man? Uh, like, like, all right, two yeah. standpoints. Like, a fun activity. Yep. And then higher end tournaments actually run it like like if they did it at like let's let's say like it's, it's at genesis and it's at like the next shine mm-hmm. and the next like big house where it's like an actual thing like I mean, not doesn't necessarily have to have like a pop bonus or whatever but like people actually really 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 start taking it serious like really take it serious i mean like this is the th- this is the the three people that you need to watch out right right um i don't know i mean i hope it works like i want it to work i think they're they, they saw some success with it at some of like the wackier events you know like uh i think glitch ran it and like had a pretty decent turnout yeah i, for, and, I forgot who won but yeah I, that was like a, i guess w- were they just like testing it is that yeah yeah for the most part but yeah. it's like dude it's so great it's like what i love about doubles yeah yeah but more <laughs> like you get all sorts of crazy team combos with three people yeah. you know the synergy is so awesome to watch and I think it can be exciting. I think the I only think, hang up is like uh, the logistical standpoint. You know, people don't like, like doubles because it ties up at least four people. Yeah. You know, and triples is the same thing. Like you can't have any other events running when you have triples because six people are tied up, like per setup. You yeah, can't, yeah. Like any of them could have a singles match or a doubles match, and you couldn't call them because they have to play their triples match. So I think, like you were saying, if they did it at one of these larger tournaments that are moving to like. Uh, like almost like a two-day schedule now. You know, Shine ran like nothing but doubles and crews on Friday. Yeah, and I like then that. singles on yeah, Saturday. I think I like that because it's like, I I would think as a player, like I'm not a person who enters tournaments, but like I would think if I was a player going into like a big major like that, like I don't want to have in the same day doubles and singles because no. it's like you're focusing on doubles. So you're like I can't let my partner down right. and all this other shit goes to your head, and then you play like, play singles and it's like. It's yeah, a totally different. You're, you're in a bro, totally yeah, different yeah. mindset. You're like, oh, no, now I gotta play singles, and then right. like, what happens if you're doing bo- good in both? And it's like you gotta bounce between them. Oh, I gotta go play double. I gotta right. go play singles. Like you should be able to focus on one thing exactly. and one thing only, man. That's what. That's what. Like when you're telling me, like they did that shine, man. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Man. Just yeah. so like, just focus on doubles. Bring that all the way down. Did they bring it all the way down to like a top eight? And then they just finished it. Oh, they just finished yeah. that Friday. Yeah. Oh, that's. That, I. You know what? I think. I think that's really good. I think big tournaments should just end. It's like like if they have doubles like on a Friday, just end it the same day. So and just like be, be over with, yeah. you know, like, and then just focus on like pools and you yeah. know single like you know the. And uh, they did the same thing at Big House. You know, they had like yeah, a yeah. Friday day, and th- this was um, Big House four, I think. Yeah. Where they floated like the top seeds of melee, so they didn't have to play in pools. Yeah. So they just did exhibitions. Yeah, and I think that format works because stream viewership generally low on Friday, like a big major. Yeah, yeah. You know, people are always like, "How do we make the stream work on Friday?" No one wants to watch like pools or like doubles pools. Or, like, I think triples might be just like spicy enough to get people watching on Friday. Yeah, you can do it before people have the commitment of singles or doubles, depending on the schedule, and I don't know, I can get people excited. You know, yeah, get like people tuning in. Also for like. Something if you move, like moving to a three versus three, right? Like the rule set, like I can't see like three clouds on one team. Like, oh my oh, god! Oh, dude! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, People are complain you about double cloud, man. They probably complain about triple. Dude, cloud. triple. I don't want to like. I don't want to think about it. like, but I think like there needs to be some kind of like one character per like per team. Yeah. Like I can definitely see that. Like, um, Smash sixty four got some success at Shine twenty seventeen. When they ran, um, if I, I might be mistaken, I'm pretty sure they ran no double Pikachu, do, no double Kirby for 64 doubles. Oh, okay. People loved it. Oh, so it was like people, like, even like that. one Kirby, one Pikachu, totally fine, but not double Kirby, double Pikachu. Like that was like a band team. People just kind of like said, yeah, that's fine. Sweet. So I think like you could probably do something similar with Smash 4, just, you know, no double cloud. That's it. Yeah, but do you, do you think really think like double needs like that kind of ruling on it? Doubles, no. Yeah, triple maybe. definitely yeah. yeah there's definitely something to think about i think like we you know people could just run some events see how it plays out and if it does turn into a whole lot of limit charging they could you know definitely just implement yeah i rules. definitely want to run one here at ug but it's just like 
I don't mind running anything. Mm -hmm. It's just that people need just need to come out and support it. Like it doesn't right. like just come out and just have fun with it. Like don't definitely yeah. Like don't be just because like oh look at like all well, weapons of like light ling ling and like another top player all exactly, on one team. Right, right. See like some like if I was throwing an event like that, um, I will only want to have like one PR player on a team, and yeah. that's it. Yeah, there's a pretty big attitude. And probably why Arcadians are so popular. So people just like, oh, I have to play against this guy. And then like it, with yeah. triples, it's like the worst because the first thing they'll think about is like the worst case scenario. Yeah. Like who are the three people I don't want to play against? And it's like they imagine them on a team, and they're like, yeah, I'll stay home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know. I feel like um, I think just having one PR player on like per team would encourage other people to like not only like play with a PR player, but like also have fun if. I don't, want to, I don't want to say like feel like they can win, but like it just it, I feel like it evens the playing ground. Definitely, yeah. like yeah. at least makes them feel better about the whole situation, you know. Yeah, but I, I definitely think something like, like along the lines where like one character per team, like one cloud, one Bayo, and do imagine like three versus three, and everyone's playing Bayo. It's just like, <laughs> bro, the one they'll lag the fucking game. Oh out, yeah, I was bro. gonna say, dude, all the hits done. People yeah. getting caught in witch twists. Also, um, uh, when I was in, when I was at Big House, uh, Mex, is his name Mex? Well, there, um, there's Mex from New no, England Carolina. or Mechos from New Yeah, Carolina. Mechos. There you go. My bad, dude. I, for, <laughs> I forgot no, his name. Anyway, they both I met uh, Mechos, kids, right? Yeah. And then, like, um, me, Maggie G, Mechos, and Dragoon were all, like, eating at a restaurant. And this is when I first, like, brought up 3 vs. 3. And he was like, and I and I was I was sitting there talking to these guys. I'm like, yeah, I remember hearing, watching like some video or hearing something about three versus three things. And Mechos was like, yo, son, that was me. Yeah, I'm like, Mechos. there I was yeah. you, bro. Yep. I'm sitting right. I'm there's, like, there's oh, a, probably like the biggest, most notable like three v three advocate for yeah. sure. Yeah. So I was like, yo, bro, that's I didn't even know I was sitting next to him. And it, it's funny how that should happen. But anyway, like he um, and we talked about a little bit like uh, we talking about something. Not just not only one character per per team, but like uh, different. Like when you play two out of three, like this uh, the first game would be like kill the king, whatever the hell you want to oh, call gotcha. it. Like yeah, yeah. kill their leader or whatever. If right. they if uh, if you eliminate them, like you would win that match. But the set would still be at two out of three. So it's like the 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 winning team would ban what kind of Oh, like a, like their game Hold mode. On. Yeah, like yeah, game yeah, mode. There yeah, we go. Oh like like there's three different game modes, yeah, and yeah. like the losing ten uh, loses like king uh, like uh, kill the king or some shit. Right. And then the winners ban like uh, some uh, uh would, would, you, would you say like game mode? Yeah, like yeah, a game like mode that, that yeah. they don't want to play, and then you would right. play something else where like I don't know, like, you can't share stocks or like I I don't know, just anything, just like instead of like banning stages, they right. like is banning like the game mode. That would be pretty dope. It'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah. man. I definitely see that. Like, kill the kill the PR player on the <laughs> right, team or something. Exactly, like, yeah. that would be fucking awesome. Man. Yeah, but just people just need to come out and support it. Like, that's right. the, that's the big thing, man. Yep, and that's another thing too is like because you need a team of three, it's hard to like get out to the event knowing you have a team set up. You know, yeah, exactly. to coordinate. Like, sometimes it's hard enough to do that in doubles. You know, just to make sure you have a partner for that. But to get like two partners for a three v three team is pretty intimidating, but definitely doable. You know. We gotta run it, man. We gotta run yeah, something. It's, got, it's good. It's gonna be great. Dude, it's gotta happen, man. I'm already excited. Can't wait to play Cloud. <laughs> I can't wait to play my Marth. <laughs> dude, my Marth is garbage. Shouts to Croc Man. All right, dude. Croc, dude. He's. Well, let's talk about Croc Man real quick. Like, he's like he went up like he went up very fast, yeah, and then yeah. it's just like not placing, nah, not placing, not just hanging out. Like now, I. I don't want to say like. Not plateauing, but like, <laughs> like, like it was like top eight, top eight, and then it's just like, bro, what happened? I don't know, <laughs> like, what happened? To you, That's bro? everybody, though. Yeah. To be fair, you know, sometimes you just get get in a in a groove. Yeah. But the way, like, he's definitely like improved crazy. Sure, yeah. His look is like disgusting. Yep. Taking names. Oh yeah, might man. be on that uh, PR we talked about earlier. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe I don't mention. Maybe yeah. <laughs> we'll never know. 
Not until December. Yeah. Well, actually, not until January. I lied. Quarter ends New Year's Eve. So. New Year's Eve this year? Yeah. yeah. All right. Who, what's your future predictions for uh, Well, Koga's not here. I have a firm belief on who I think is number three. Who would you say that would be? It's not Koga. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. All right, fair enough. Um, um, I, maybe Ling Ling? Who knows? Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. wonder, um, how's Hawk doing? Like, I, I haven't seen him recently. I know he's got, like, school and shit, but. He's all right. He's doing, doing all right. Good. Got some good wins. Uh, no, no bad losses, I would say. Yeah. But we'll find out. Yes, January definitely. January 1st. All right, guys. That's going to do it. That's it. Check you out later. Peace.